I'm Brian Van, Sport by Tractor.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change the Arai Defiant X helmet shield. The Arai Defiant X uses the latest generation Arai helmet shield. Same shield fits the Corsair X, the Quantum X, the Regent X, and the Signet X. So it uses all the same components, and this was a giant leap forward as compared to the previous versions of Arai helmets. There's a lot of engineering that goes into this, right? And if you compare this to some especially less expensive helmets that are out there, right, this is going to look more complex. It's just simply better. First thing you need to do is release the lock and lift the shield all the way in the upward most position. If you look on the side of the helmet, each side will be identical, a mirror image. Here's your side pod, that needs to pop off the plate, and there is a trigger to release it. If you look real close, there's a little arrow that basically indicates you need to put pressure rearward. I like to set the helmet on a table about this height, rest it against my abdomen, push in on both sides. Notice how I had my hands out from the helmet, that allows the side pod plates to jump off. Then as I release those triggers, I want to feel if they move forward or not. If they move forward, I'll show you how to deal with that, but these are holding their se themselves into position right now, which is going to allow me to simply rotate the shield forward and pull it right off the helmet. It's literally that easy. To install your tinted shield or your replacement shield, you need to line up this brass insert with a hole here on the helmet and then get it to jump over into that channel. Slide the helmet shield over the eye port and what I like to do is put a little inward pressure and I just kind of rotate this around until it jumps over and then up, hear an audible click, it is now in that channel, grab your side pod plate. There is a clip right here that dips into this pocket. Working from top down, slide that into the pocket, push audible click, we are cash money on that side. Coming over to the other side now, basically the same gig, kind of rotated around, jumps in, up, we're in the channel, grab my side pod plate, lock it in, push down. From here, before I go out for a ride, what I like to do is I like to work the shield a couple of times to make sure that I have this installed correctly and we're not going to have any issues. Now, in the event that these little triggers don't stay in the forward position. It doesn't happen very often, but if it does happen, what you need to do is while the shield is still in the upright position, make sure you're pushing back until it stops. That will allow you to then release the shield on the helmet. If you guys have any questions, just leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself. I try to get it done in a timely manner. And please understand, I'm here to help you have a great experience with your Ride to Fine X.